You're watching Musical Theatre Mash. Hello! You're stuck with just me today? It's like 9 o'clock and we're watching The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T, the only live-action musical that Dr. Seuss ever directed, wrote, oversaw, one of those things, and surprisingly, it's a musical. Let's watch it. Word on the street is this movie did not do very well. I don't understand why Dr. Seuss is... Fantastic. It is an original story. Don't expect any, um, Ken Hat or Green Eggs and Ham or the Lorax of this. Lyrics by Dr. Seuss. Do you think they're gonna rhyme? Something on your head? I have something on my head. Ha ha! Little boy lost in the land of the saucer plates and sock kites. Immediately it's like an acid trip. I was about to make a joke, nothing's more terrifying than men with multicolored nets, but this is kind of terrifying. Oh, is it? It was all a dream. It's all a dream. Dr. Terwilliker, what happened? What's going on? Dr. Terwilliker? Do you think he's Dr. T? And I'm not going to let one dreary little boy humiliate me, do you understand? Why doesn't he just use the think system? Best teacher ever. Practice or else. We're gonna sing? Well, that's my problem. Dr. Terwilliker is the only enemy oh. I've got. Oh my god! I can't think of one Why is he talking to me? Because there isn't any. This is, this is unsettling. I'm already unsettled. This is more terrifying than the men with the multicolored nets. Aren't mothers the worst? This is fun. Dr. Seuss had an animated short about a flying piano, didn't he? You lucky young man, oh, this wondrous piano will take you away from it all. Pontiful Pock, where are you? Pontiful Pock's flying piano. There's a song about pickles. Maybe we'll watch it one day. Just pull on the pull and push on the push em and the pickles go into the jars. Just pull on the pull and push on the push em and the pickles go into the jars. It's weird. Nothing like spiteful piano playing. Ah, youth. That noise you hear is my friend, Mr. Zabladowski, the plumber. He knows all about the piano. Everyone in this world has ridiculous names. Dr. Terror Wickler, Dr. Z Zabadazzler. What kind of household do they live in where this plumber is by so regularly that the little kid knows his name? Mm, pardon me, I've got to cook this schlop and stir this stew. I would make an awful housewife. How much you want to bet this is going to devolve into an elaborate dream sequence involving the characters that have just been introduced? This kid does look weird. He looks like a Dr. Seuss character. I guess that makes sense. Who would have guessed? A dream. I've heard of the Suzuki method, but this is ridiculous. Tomorrow, the Terwilliker Institute. My Happy Finger Institute. Tomorrow, his Happy Finger Institute. Ghoul. This villain's evil plan is to collect a bunch of piano playing children? This is a weird, weird story. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. This is terrifying. This is really unsettling. 
Bartholomew Collins. Ah. The years you spend with Dr. Terwilliker will be the happiest years of your life. But if you get homesick, don't try to escape. Ooh. The barbed wire around the Terwilliker Institute is electrified. Electrified. <laughs> Has he kidnapped all these children? What? Mm, I'm uncomfortable. Thank God the plumber's here. What? So this kidnapped piano playing kid in the compound of other piano playing kids only ally is a plumber? Who said there's nothing new to write in Hollywood? Dr. Terwilliker does not believe in baseballs, golf balls, basketballs, or tennis balls. Ping pong balls, snow balls, croquet Dr. balls. Dr. Terwilliker basically does not believe in balls. Would you say they were happy fingers? They should be gay, carefree, happy fingers. Would you say they are happy fingers? They should be gay fingers. There's so much innuendo. <laughs> Your future husband. Have I not graciously condescended to take your hand in marriage tomorrow, immediately following the official grand opening? What? Dr. Terwilliker's gonna marry Mrs. C? I don't have the outfits, the plot, none of it makes any sense. The dungeons? Sounds like it should be a song. Who are these bearded connected men on roller skates? <laughs> what? I don't even. And that's it? And we're not even going to talk about the, the bearded connected men on roller skates? Where are you going to hide, little. What's his name? I don't know his name. Billy? Probably. Frank? Edgar. No, it's gonna be something ridiculous. It's gonna be like Edgar von Stubenhain. What is this balcony? And now we're gonna Keystone Cops this chase scene? They have guns? Good thing this conveniently placed ladders here. Where does it go? Clearly nowhere. Clearly to the sky. It does go nowhere. What the? This is too much. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna jump? <laughs> he uses his shirt as a parish. What the heck is this? <laughs> oh my god. I can't handle this. The king of Persia, does he come crawling out of my air vent? Not at all. The king of Persia, he stays in Persia. The king of Persia, he stays in Persia. This, this movie doesn't make any sense. <coughs> like even more than a normal Dr. Seuss book. And that were... If you had never seen this movie and I described the plot to you and then continued to describe the plot to you, you wouldn't believe me. A boy is abducted by a, a maniac who has kidnapped hundreds of children with the intent to force them to play piano, but he escapes and is saved by a plumber. And instead of getting out of the compound, they pretend to fish. That's the plot of this movie so far. Oh good, here's the second song. <sighs> but you're singing a song about, is he gonna fall asleep in his dream? I've seen Inception, that's how the danger begins. Leonardo DiCaprio shows up, the big sound happens, and next thing you know you're in slow motion in a van careening off of a bridge. Tommy Rettig, that's the kid. Actor and software engineer. Huh. He was in Lassie. And that's about it. Look, Mr. Zabladowski, 
I promise Look, I Mr. Zabladowski, I don't know how I remembered your name. I can barely remember my own name. It might be Bart, it might be Frank, it might be Billy, who knows? He's just saying words, sounds. What? What? It ju just when I think it's gotten weird, it gets weirder. Are we playing the like, I got your nose game? <laughs> we are. The, uh, <laughs> this might be up there with one of the weirdest movies I've ever watched. Uh, and then we're just not gonna... We're just gonna move on? Like that's a thing that normal people do when they greet each other? How have you been? Back when you could show cigars in children's movies. I wish my couch opened up like that with food. The police are coming. I don't know if you're hurried. We're gonna wait a second. You done? Okay. Yeah? We good now? Ah, uh, city life. I know I complain a lot about the sounds that emergency responses make in my neighborhood, and I understand that it's a necessary part, but sometimes it's just overwhelming. All right, where were we? Shall we dance? Upon, it's time we got together, cause it's get together weather, and in get together weather, together is just what we got to get. Come on, the, the weather, weather man's insisting, insisting this is weather beyond resisting. This is get together weather, together is just what we got to get. What wonderful weather! This song doesn't make any sense. And now we're singing about weather. First we were finger, finger zapping each other, like a cut scene from Star Wars Three. And now we're singing about weather? Come on, the weatherman's announcing that the weather's ripe for flouncing and for bo 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 bouncing. This is getting... The weather's ripe for flouncing? Solid lyrics. And now another dance number? Is this how we're gonna fall in love? Look at how offended Dr. Twilliker is. He's so, he's so angry and villainous! That's my plumber! Wait. Oh, maybe. Mrs. Collins, get me the physics laboratory. Yes, sir. Why does he have a physics laboratory if he's a piano guy? Look at that cordless phone. How ahead of our time. Physics the stairs in this compound just don't make any sense. You know, if you had a hand on your head, it would be much easier to slap people taller than you. Really, we should be outfitting all children with hand hats, just as a self-defense measure. If weird plumbers walk up to them on a street corner, they can be like, WHAP! WHAP! Just like that. Where are the other 499 kids that are supposed to be in this compound? They're not revolting? Isn't that how, how child musicals are supposed to work? Kid power? Defeats the adult oligarchy. Clearly I should follow this hand. And that hand. So many stairs and archways in this weird, weird place. Is he going to steal the money out of the Scrooge McDuck vault? He's got to get the key from Dr. T. I'm never one to stereotype. Dr. T wears an awfully lot of pink and purple for someone who's gonna marry Mrs. S in the morning. 
Just putting it out there. That would be the worst thing in the world to sleep with a metronome above your bed. That would keep me up all night. It just seems really difficult to navigate everything in this place. Like, what the heck is this thing? Oh, clearly it's a fire pole mushroom. Is this gonna be a dungeon filled with musicians? Oh, it is. That sounds terrifying. Apparently you also need to be green to be in this dungeon. That's not an instrument. Why are they in the dungeon? They don't play instruments. What instrument is that? Why is Antler Guy down here? Why is he? <laughs> what are these? What, what are these things? Elephant trunk horns? Why? And why is everyone green? Okay, accordions. Accordions I can understand. Thank you for throwing in an instrument that makes sense, Dr. Seuss. You put me through enough as it is. Oh, uh, nope. Nope, weird accordions. This isn't how you play the xylophone. It's not even a xylophone. Why do they have, like, infomercial... Shammy mitts. Did Dr. Tewilker send all these people down here with their instruments? That just seems like a poor choice as an evil villain. I mean, not that he's made a lot of great choices so far, but on the, on the spectrum of choices made, this one seems pretty far down there. This is weird. This is weird, Dr. Seuss. This is real weird. Well, I'm glad that's over. They just do that? That's just a thing they do in the dungeon from time to time? Like, um, see you next Tuesday. Mm. Good job, Sean. Again with the weird staircases. This whole place is like a Legends of the Hidden Temple course. That's what it is. The Shrine of the Silver Monkey. This is... If I have dreams like this tonight, I'm blaming all of you. Stand back, I have lots of fire. This seems dangerous, even for like, stage effect standards. Oh yeah, the beard twins, I forgot about them. What a ridiculous concept. Are we gonna do a dance fight now? Oh no, the source of their power, their beard. If I cut it in half, that surely should work. Oh dear, the source of our power, our beard. It's been cut in half. Oh me, oh my. Oh god, this is like the fifth song in the whole thing and they're just mumbling it. If I had a music teacher show up in a treble clef cloak blanket, I'd... I'd leave. I'd just leave. Is that his robe? Is he wearing his slippers? <laughs> Is it just gonna send him back to the dungeons? We know you can escape the dungeons. We've been there already. In Green World. Maybe Dr. Seuss just hated music. Here's your hat. Here's your hat. Welcome to Antiques Roadshow. And that's worth two hundred dollars. That's worth three hundred dollars. That's worth nothing. Go home. It works. It works. Thank goodness. Otherwise, this movie wouldn't make any sense. Is he not changed yet? They're like ready to begin, and he's still got to get dressed. Come on and dress me, dress me, dress me <laughs> in my finest array. Like he doesn't have an outfit picked out. He didn't prepare for this the night before? That just seems like poor preparation. He's talking about all these garments and he's not putting any of them on. That's not a peekaboo blouse. Dress me up in silk and spinach? This movie was advertised to me as a musical. I feel a little cheated. So this is like the opposite of the music man. Just all, I just. What's that? This is the plot. This is ridiculous. 
Ah, the most beautiful piece ever written is chopsticks. Wanna bet he's gonna wake up from his dream sometime soon? Hey Bart, you're just in front of the piano. Oh, and look, it's pictures of the bearded twins. And they're gonna be married. It's just like the dream. Oh yeah, the dog that was part of the plot temporarily. I forgot it was a thing. Now I'm going to run away from home. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. What the heck? What did we learn today? We learned Dr. Seuss hates pianos and when in doubt, call a plumber. Yeah. So come and dress me in the blossoms of a million pink trees. Come on and dress me up in liverwurst and camembert cheese. Come on and dress me up in pretzels. Dress me up in bulk beer suds. Cause I'm going.